Liverpool has um, a long-standing history with regards to the professional nursing that goes back over 150 years. The first nursing school outside of London was developed um, in 1860s um, and that was taken forward um, with William Rathbone and Florence Nightingale, which I think is something that the city should be extremely proud about. Over the last two, three years, nursing's had a particularly difficult time, certainly following the Francis report. Um, I think the profession from a public opinion perspective has been not always as it should be. People have had a negative perception and they don't truly see the fantastic work and hard work that all of the nurses put in. Before my time as, as a nurse, um, nurses used to do their training and they would receive um, a badge of where they had trained and it's usually, it was a particular badge, it was very beautiful and they represent the organisation that you've done your training in um, and nurses wear that with pride um, and then over years that they, they've disappeared. So for me I thought about bringing that back to represent um, the profession and try and bring that pride back in to what we do. We were so proud of our hospital badges. <laughs> we really were. I started my career at the Royal um, in the August 63 PTS preliminary training school. And I, my first ward was a surgical ward, and I absolutely loved it. The sisters and the staff nurses on the wards really showed you how to look after your patients. They set a model of how to care how to talk to people. And at the end of that, there was a year prize giving and the whole year would come and you'd be given your silver badge. The programme started in 2014 and we had our first graduation in 2015 and it's really just developed and grown over time um, and it's been fantastic. NICE endorsed the nursing programme which is very, very special and now we've grown the programme to include our allied health professionals, our dental nurses, our unregistered nurses, our healthcare assistants um, and going forward our volunteers so it's a real family programme, it's about you know encouraging all of our workforce to be part of this and be proud of what we do um, and to ensure that they feel competent to do the job for our patients. The RLB programme has been accredited by the University of Liverpool's CPD framework. The National Institute for Health and Care Excellence has endorsed the RLB nurse core competency framework as an educational tool and this to me is a big kudos to the uh, organisation and to the programme itself. Most of our nurses who have gone through the programme have actually seen the value of the programme because it actually prepares them for their NMC revalidation. They work so hard that they deserve as much recognition, far more than beyond the programme. I just hope this goes a small way, you know, with the public uh, uh, to demonstrate what a fantastic job they all do. to wear the badge um, and it's really gained momentum um, amongst my colleagues and, and other health professional colleagues. I think it's a fantastic uh, initiative which really embodies the trust's values and behaviours in order to deliver excellent clinical care to our patients and also to recognise the skills that nurses and allied health professionals have to recognise and further to develop those skills. I think it's um, really given a bit of focus for, for all the staff to celebrate um, a lot of things that they already are doing and just show um, how their experience, their expertise can really sort of be celebrated in a, in a professional way, in a structured way, which has been great for them. It's been a big pat on the back, really. And when I went on the study day, it looked like a lot of hard work. And when I got the portfolio, I thought, wow. But when I started the portfolio, I realised that I was a, a, a very skilled nurse, that it wasn't as daunting as it looked. It's given me the confidence to be a better nurse. I've ended up with a portfolio that I'm proud of and that I cherish and keep forever. 
It's helped me with self-development, um, reflecting on what I've done and what I can do better. And I've learned some new things as well. I'm proud of myself for doing it. And it, to be fair, it's encouraged me to do other things. It's made me happier in my job as well. Actually, it's made me a lot happier in my job. This programme it makes you realise how highly skilled and highly qualified you actually are. And to be validated in that way as well. To be recognised for those skills is absolutely lovely and it's a very positive thing for your development. The whole process, it gave you some objectives, it gave you guidelines as to how you can progress it. And to be perfectly honest, it's been absolutely fantastic in developing my own portfolio. Definitely recommend doing it. It's a, an amazing, innovative programme because it brings all the things that we already know into a useful package that helps people like volunteers go to wards, go to clinics and feel competent and ready. I would encourage colleagues not to feel too overwhelmed and that it is very doable within a ca your caseload um, and just speak to other uh, colleagues that have completed the badge um, you know, and, and get the support from those colleagues in order to do it. It's well worth it and it, and it, and it does make you feel proud to, to have that badge. I think it's really exciting times for nursing within Liverpool at the moment, especially within the Royal Liverpool Hospital. Every member of staff who undergoes the RLB programme has an orientation to our position with the new build. Uh, so we set out how we're going to potentially deliver care in this new environment. For example, how we're going to observe patients, record vital signs, and how that links in with the new electronic technology that we don't currently have. It'll be new to all staff, so it's trying to seek ideas, generate discussion in terms of the best ways that we can approach care in this new new environment. I can't describe um, how something that is a, as an idea, you know, that's just a thought, um, has, has not only come to life but taken off the way it has. And I'm just so grateful for the staff for taking part in it. They've, um, you know, they've believed in what we're trying to do um, and they've stepped up and, and done this out of their own accord and more people are coming forward to want to do the programme now. So um, I'm very grateful to, to all the staff for being involved. We should celebrate what we have in Liverpool um, and certainly grow our workforce um, and make people be proud of, you know, not just our organisation but, but of the city. So for me, the opportunity to grow further will be something that's pretty unique and pretty special.